Hey, this is Basil, and today Will and I are going to show you how to decrease your battery charge time by up to six by using this parallel charge board. We're also going to show you how to set up your charger based on the batteries that you're using. And we're going to also, as a bonus, we're going to show you how to convert your milliamps of your battery into amps based off of an Android or a Siri or iPhone app. Stay tuned for some tricks and tips on how to use your balance board and how to save up to six times the amount of charging time with a basic balanced charger. With the parallel boards, you're able to charge several batteries at one time. Most of these usually have uh, anywhere from six to eight um, battery ports per parallel board. Um, anywhere from your ultra micro batteries for like your tiny whoops, your inductrixes, stuff like that, um, ultra micro one cell planes. You have your JST balance plug for two or three cell uh, JST connectors. You have Dean's connectors here and XT60. All right, so now we're gonna have Will go over how, in detail, how to charge with the Dean's connectors. All right, Will, we got this new balance board here. Yep, we got a parallel board here. It's uh, This has Dean's connectors on it. Um, runs out to a six cell balance port here. Uh, so they'll go into a charger, either directly in or some chargers, you have the little balance port there, you plug into the six cell. And if you have some batteries with XT60s yeah. so on it. So say your battery has an XT60 connector, you we have these little adapters for a couple bucks, you can convert it over and plug it in here. And now you have a Dean's connector, which is pretty neat. Uh, gives you a really small, compact little setup versus the wire adapters port. Um, this gives you the ability to charge multiple batteries at one time. So like for instance here, we got two 1503 cells. You would be able to plug multiple in, this one takes up to six batteries. Um, you'd plug in the main leads first, and again, these are both three cells. You need to do the same voltage batteries. You can't do a three cell and a four cell mixed together. So you plug in the main ones, and then you plug in the balance ports. If you need or want any more technical data, there's a nice colorful diagram on our website. The link is below. The diagram describes in detail the formulas and how to set up your charger based on the milliamps of your batteries you are charging. Batteries, so you got that, and then you would charge your Batteries basically, these are both 1500s. If you were doing a 1C charge, it's 1.5 amps. But now we have two batteries in this example here, so you'd charge it at three amps. All right. So if you have so a, you got a three cell battery, plug in with an XT60 heel, and then you got a Deans. Oh, Deans. Okay, there we go. Um, so you got the different connectors on the same board. So now you can charge multiple batteries at the same time through parallel and you can basically gives you the ability if your charger is capable of doing it you could charge you know up to six batteries at a time and at the same time it would take one battery so so like both said beginning most chargers you some chargers you plug direct and then some chargers you'd plug directly into the balance, balance port. So it all depends on your charger, but this will yeah. work with any balance charger. Yeah, this one, like this one plugs into a six cell port on the Supermate, but you would still select, this is a three cell battery. It doesn't add up voltage or anything like that. It's the same voltage. So if it's a three cell battery, you still select three cell on your charger. All right, so that's good info, but how do I apply this to my charger here, Will? All right, to use the parallel board, first things first, no batteries on it whatsoever. Um, you're gonna plug in your parallel board, to your ports, this is going to plug into your six cell port. Again, everything's going to be a little different based on the charger. This yes. is just a general. Like some thing. chargers, you'll plug straight in, like I charge and all that. They'll plug straight into the side of the, the charger. Um, this particular one has an adapter board that uses a specific adapter plate. Right. Um, then you plug in the main leads in here for your normal charge leads. But however you plug a six cell battery in is how you plug the parallel board in because right. it goes up to six cell. All right. Um, so we got we're, for this example, we're going to charge in parallel two 2200 batteries and they're going to be three s and they're both going to be at the same um same voltage similar capacity yes yeah. and both of them have been used the same so these are at roughly yeah. 80 percent a piece yeah all right so both these batteries are going to go on the charger so the first things first you're going to take your battery first battery in plug in just the main leads so you got the battery lead here plug in the main leads first so you're going to plug those in here so i got my two main leads on i usually give it a little bit um that way it balances out um, right. the cells equalize because you don't want the current running through the little ones, you want the current running through the big ones. Right. But before we go on, these are now hot. Yes, these are hot. Um, one of the things you could do to prevent that, you can get these little rubber boot caps we sell. Um, and if you have a ring or something, if you cross the stream or cross the, you'll, we'll spark yourself. So. Yeah, you can, you can arc current across and burn yourself pretty good. So, so these, these are very important boots. and very, uh, almost necessity now. But there we go. Now we are, we're safe. Now I can put my ring on there and not to have any kind of. Uh, yeah. I mean, these are yeah. still hot here, but the big, right. big ones sticking up, the high power ones. Um, so basically, the ba ba uh, battery balance plug, plug in heel. 
So you just plug in one there, and anywhere. They, it doesn't have to be in a specific port. They're all in the same. So as long as you plug a three-cell port battery and a three-cell plug, or if you've got four-cell, plug in four-cell, et cetera. All right. So now we've got two so batteries in here. Now we're running. hooked up here. That's pretty easy. That's self-explanatory so far. All right, far. so now what do we do? We've got two 2200 three-cells here. Um, in parallel, you are adding capacity. Not voltage, but capacity. So we are still, these are 11.1 volt batteries. We are still dealing with 11.1 volts or three cell. And now instead of a 2200 battery, we essentially have a 4400 milliamp battery. So what he just did, he added the 2200 plus 2200. What we're charging at is one C. One C yes. is one times the capacity. But because we doubled the capacity of the batteries, the, what we're charging at, instead of charging at, like in this case, 2200 or 2.2 amps, we're now charging at 4.4 amps. Right. So on the charger, what we're gonna do in this case. Well, hold on one sec. Okay, Google. 2200 plus 2200. The answer is 4,400. 4,400 milliamps to amps. 4,400 milliampers equals 4.4 amperes. All right, for those of you who can add. Um, <laughs> well, you never know. It's, it's, <laughs> I'm just kidding. The lipo balance. So again, we're dealing with 4,400 milliamps or 4.4 amps. So what we're gonna do is set the milliamps, we're gonna set it to 4.4. Based off of what we just heard. It also works with Siri too. Siri, convert 4,400 milliamps to amps. I don't know about Siri. Yeah. I don't know about Siri. Siri, convert 40, I don't talk to this chick. <laughs> <laughs> So we have our 4.4 based off of our calculations or our app either on the Android or, or iPhone. And this is based off of the voltage of the batteries. The original voltage of all of the batteries are 11.1 volts. So all you do is there and then in this charger we hold it down and start. Now this one's asking to confirm. But yep, and now we're charging. So now charging. we're charging these two at the exact same time. It's going to be as twice as fast as yeah. So one if, time. if you're doing your standard one C charge, some batteries, some chargers, two uh, C or greater, uh, depends on what the capability of your charger is. But um, but this, all, all, the manufacturer, these batteries, and also the Lyle Scorpions recommend one C charge, which is what this is. Yeah. Okay, as we said, it will work with basically any any halfway decent balance charger. It won't work with these little um, ready to fly chargers. Yeah, the ones that use the balance port does not work with those. You need a charger that charges through the main lead connection. So this is really more suited towards bigger chargers or the ability of charging three or four batteries in that same 45 minute time frame that you would normally charge one battery. Right, so instead of switching batteries out every 45 minutes yeah. four times, you switch out batteries once at yeah. the same time. Now, period. Uh, another thing I usually do is I try to, I fly all my batteries roughly the same time, so they all come down around the same voltage. Um, you might want to check the voltage and everything before you plug it in. You don't want to put a fully charged battery and a, a fully discharged battery in together, but you don't want to plug in super high differences because the battery is trying to charge the other one. They're trying to balance out, um, and it will just degrade the life of the battery. Okay. All right, so that, in a nutshell, that's how to charge more than one battery on the parallel board. She is stupid. No. But she can convert milliamps. She is. Okay, anyway, Siri, convert 2200 milliamps to amps. 10,200 amperes converts to 2200 amperes. That didn't tell me anything. Siri, convert 4400 milliamps to amps. Is 4,400 milliampers. Siri, you're terrible at math.